Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, um, yeah, I'm just going to hit you guys up with a general reading. So this is going to be for all the star signs from Aries all, all the way to Pisces. It's going to be a timeless reading, so when you come across this video, it's for you. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email. Um, I'm going to put all my information in the drop down menu um, because I'm currently having a break from social media. Um, yeah, so let's, let's see what's popping in the part of the collective that I um, that I read for, or just what's popping in the collective in general. Um, this is the new card deck that I've got. Um, it's called Moonology Oracle Card Deck. So the first first card that come out is Full Moon Eclipse, and then the card says Conclusions are within reach. So whatever you want. Um, is within reach um, but make sure you brainstorm and are clear about what you want because the universe will deliver um, whatever you want as long as you're clear about what you want um, so whatever you want is within reach and no goal is like too hard you will have to put the work in but no goal is too hard and um, the universe is limitless so anything you want you can have All right, let's see what else is popping in the collective. And then the next card is Full Moon in Leo. So some of these may be Leos. And then the card says, don't let pride get in your way. So yeah, as the card says, don't let pride get in your way. If you need to apologize for something that you've done, um, apologize. Um, don't be prideful. Um, some of you, your prides may be hurt at the moment from a certain situation. So you may be um, feeling some kind of way. So if someone apologizes to you, maybe you might not accept the apology is what I'm getting. But there's an apology that needs to be um, either from you or someone else, but there's an apology that needs to um, needs to happen. <clears throat> but someone's pride, you know, your pride's getting in the way, and pride is ego. So some of you may be um, kind of currently sitting in your ego at the moment. So try um, let your ego subside and um, come from work from more of your heart center. All right, let's see what else is popping in the collective, and then the the. Next card is New Moon in Pisces. Um, and then the card says Meditate and Contemplate. So right now, um, in the collective, the energy that I've been currently picking up is we're in kind of a waiting period, should I say. Like, not, it's, it feels kind of, the energy to me feels kind of stagnant. So you may have ideas and stuff and things that you want to take action on but at this current time we're kind of like in this waiting period um so things may not be you may be trying to i don't know apply for new jobs and apply for certain things it's just not working out at the moment but that's because we're in this kind of stagnant period i think we're waiting for another wave of um light workers to become more conscious because the wave comes in shifts so um that's what i'm getting in the collective but um, yeah, you're also being called to meditate as well. So some of these may have been, have been slacking on your spiritual practices and you need to go within um, and contemplate contemplate your next moves. What do you want to do? Um, where do you want to be in the future? Plan. Um, some of these may need to daydream as well to kind of see where you want to be. Um, and daydreaming also lets out your inner child and helps you connect with your intuition as well. Uh, let's see what else is popping in the collective. And then the, the next card is Full Moon in Libra. And we're currently in Libra season as well. So happy birthday to all my Libras. And then the card says a win-win outcome is forecast. Um, so you have a win-win situation um, that's coming out. So if you guys will know what the 
um, situation will be, but the situation will work in your favour. So I don't know if it was a relationship that didn't work out, you may end on good terms. Um, if it's a job that you've um, I don't know got in trouble for um, for doing something on the job, um, yeah, you may just be called to take time off and then be allowed back to the job instead of getting fired. Um, some of you are actually just being called to also balance out your masculine and feminine energy. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it for that card. But yeah, there's a win-win um, situation on the forecast. So yeah, there's nothing to worry about. <clears throat> so things are going to work in your favour. And then the next card is New Moon in Sagittarius. Um, and the card says, luck is on your side. So yeah, luck is on your side. So some of you may be really lucky at the moment. Some of you may want to try play the lottery. Um, and some of that, take risks as well. If you're feeling, um, well, as the card says, some of you are really lucky and things just kind of fall in your lap and you don't really have to try really hard to achieve what you want. So some of you may be um, divine feminines as well, more receiving in nature instead of the divine masculinity is more giving in nature um but um with the the crossbow or the the arrow should i say um it's aiming at the moon so what i'm getting from that is um to take your shot so if you've got um i don't know if you want to um you ain't got nothing to lose so so um basically shoot your shot if that makes sense so yeah if you've got um you've got a love interest um approach them if you want to apply for a new job try it um if you want to if you're feeling um that you want to try something new you're not too sure go for it because there's nothing stopping you man and luck's going to work on luck's on your side um and everything's going to work in your favor it's only the ego that will hold you back um and everything is just happening as it should so luck is on your side Oh, this card wants to pop out. And then the next card is New Moon in Aries. And then the card says, it's time to take action. So yeah, you, it's time to stop procrastinating and take action in a certain situa situation. So whether it's being proactive, going to the gym, being proactive in finishing your decorating, because I'm currently decorating. Um, if it's um, being proactive in... Um, putting yourself out there for a new course or just putting yourself out there in general because um yeah things won't um things won't just fall in your lap you have to actually put yourself out there so it's all good saying i want to manifest this i want to manifest that i want to do this i want to do that but if you're not putting yourself out there and actually being um putting yourself in certain situations then nothing's going to happen more likely <clears throat> so yeah okay this card went to pop out fly out should I say and then you got <laughs> um, new moon in Gemini and then the card says communication is key <clears throat> so some of you are try either trying to work on your communication skills or working on your communication skills some of you may be having throat chakra issues um, I've been currently working on my throat chakra for the last for months now um, and my communication is actually getting better um, throat chakra has to do with um, self-expression communication um, being your authentic self speaking your truth yeah so some of you may not be actually speaking your truth and some of you may be needing to speak up more um, so some of these may be tarot readers but are kind of scared to express yourself if that makes sense or have some of you have a throat chakra blockage because I actually have throat chakra problems as well, but I'm picking it up in the collective as well. Um, so crystals can help with the throat chakra as well. Um, lapis lazuli, um, blue laser gate. Um, some of you may can get um, some some healing done on it. So crystal healing, um, some Reiki would also be good. Um, 
but yeah well some of you are going to have communication coming in as well um so yeah be mindful mindful for that um yeah some of you's got to work on your communication yeah some of you or there may be just a blockage of communication with someone is what i'm getting as well so it's up, the universe may be blocking communication with you and someone but there's some sort of issue with communication at the moment um and then the next card is mutable moon and then the card says nothing is set in stone okay cool um so yeah nothing is actually set in stone so when you if you think certain things won't work out let me just use a relationship in general um you may think oh yeah this relationship ain't gonna work or just because you've broken up it doesn't mean you can't get back um together in the future nothing is actually set in stone so if you think oh i can't get that job um i can't do this and stop don't try to not use the word i can't because you're making that manifest and you're making it become real and if you say i can't that is reinforcing that so you need to be trying to change um your way of thinking to i can yeah but nothing is set in stone so anything is actually possible so um if you home in, in on the negatives you're going to manifest the negative if you try to home in on the positive and stay open-minded um anything's possible that's what i try to stay in the um the mute the ne neutral zone so any like anything's possible kind of thing like yeah this could come that could come and it's about accepting and being um practicing the art of non-attachment to whatever um comes will come and whatever whatever will be will be as well man um if it's for your highest good it will manifest in your reality if it won't um something will be removed and then replaced by something better because the universe always delivers because we're actually trying to be become our higher selves we're trying to become better um, some people would like will want to stay in um, a low vibrational cycle. Some people will find it hard to break karmic cycles and karmic patterns. Um, but for, for those who's trying to elevate and become better and step into their power, then um, yeah, you've got to have to let go of certain things to then progress forward. And then the next card is. Dissimating moon, dissimating moon, and then the card says, "Take time to breathe out." So some of these may be, um, some of these may be really anxious and tend to like shallow breathe, like instead of use your whole capacity of your lungs to breathe. Um, and if you take deep breaths, it will actually help you to recenter. Yeah, it will help you to recenter, and it helps relieve stress as well. Um, and some of you may want to check out the sacred breath or something like that it's like you breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth or um wim hof breathing techniques it helps you to regulate your breathing and to use the whole capacity of your lungs because the whole um being in the matrix the system um the city life everything's go 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 um so we tend to get anxious and we tend to actually not breathe properly so we need to actually use the whole capacity of our lungs. And um, the breath is the life force energy as well. Um, so yeah, some of you may need to want to check out breathing techniques as well <clears throat> to help you in your journey because breathing techniques are really good, man. They're really good. So yeah, you've got meditation and breathing in, in, in this reading as well and communication. Okay, and then the next card is Blue Moon. And then the card says, believe in the impossible. So like I was saying, man, nothing set in stone and believe in the impossible. So some of these may be coming from a place of lack or like ne not negative thinking, but um, doubting. Some of these may need to trust the universe, that the universe will deliver to you whatever you need and is for your highest good. Um but yeah, you need to believe and trust and believe in miracles. When you start paying attention to the smaller miracles, you'll start seeing the bigger miracles unfold. Um, there's been situations where people's had near-death experience and come back, yeah, and 
the doctors said, oh, yeah, they ain't going to make it and they've come back. And that's like the impossible, right? So, yeah, anything's possible in the universe. So, yeah, be open minded to believe in, in, um, in the impossible, man. And then the next card is full moon in Cancer. And then the card says, a personal issue reaches solutions. So some of these may be, be have, some of these may have been having personal issues, so dealing with grief, dealing with anger, dealing with past trauma coming to the surface, dealing with um, emotional, mental or physical problems. And the issue is starting to be resolved. So you may actually start feeling better. You may have got a phone call from the doctor um, and things just... Um, being resolved in your per with your personal issue so um, yeah that's that's positive man that's a good thing it's really good it's really good I like these cards man these cards are pretty cool if you feel the reading resonates hit the comments and let me know please guys um, and then the last card is new moon <laughs> new moon in Capricorn as I'm a Capricorn to finish the reading and then your hard work is paying off so um, sometimes on the journey, we may feel that we've been putting in a lot of work, we've been struggling, we've been putting in the inner work and nothing's actually manifesting or we've been putting in the work and things just don't seem to be um, working out for us. But we've been putting in the work, collective, light workers, healers, we've been putting in the work and your hard work is going to pay off. You just got to stay with it, yeah? Um, I know it can be challenging at times because I bet everyone faces challenges on their journey, but um yeah give yourself some um compassion and be kind to yourself because some people ain't even trying yeah if you look back to maybe last year or whatever has there been growth have you changed have you been putting in the work in some of these are also being called to put the work in as well um because some of these may have been slacking but um your hard work is paying off so don't be too hard on yourself guys give yourself some credit yeah because we've come a long way and um yeah, so if you're feeling tired and a lot of people, like if you're feeling energetically exhausted, it's because you're doing a lot of work in the astral realm. Currently, light workers are basically holding the light for everyone else to kind of wake up. So we've got like a double mission, um, plus the ancestral healing, plus healing our own inner work um, and past traumas and also trying to hold space for the collective and hold space for people that are becoming comfortable more conscious and being their guides and being the way showers man so yeah we got we got our jobs cut out but we signed up for this remember that yes yes we signed up for this <laughs> but yeah um that's your reading guys if you like the video you guys already know what to do i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon with another video anyway peace love and light tribe